And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist, the second video game's the second commentary. When we last left off, we were doing a cross examination with, with Mr. Rhonda Light. Now, I believe that this is the evidence that we need to. Pre this is the piece that we need to present evidence for. So let's go ahead and check present. I don't think we're supposed to do it directly. Um, I don't think so. Blackmail thread. The blackmail thread. I, I mean, I noticed that, but I, I didn't really notice just how odd that was. That must be a typo. Kane's list. Check your back, check button for details. Was, wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. He said, like, a red uh, sculpture painting artifact jewel. Tear of Eminent. Well, why don't we try presenting that? Okay, so can we, like, pre just present it straight up? I mean, we are, we've saved, so if, like, if we get everything wrong, I don't care. Kane's list. Objection. No. Your Honor, that statement contradicts his evidence. No, it doesn't. Because you said, you said, like, a red jewel or something. I don't know. I just... I guess I was just... As the judge would say, I guess I was just playing with myself. The black mouth red didn't scare you. It was going to cause me trouble, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to press this. Yes, okay, blackmail, I'm sure. Objection. Tiss, 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 I'm afraid. What do you mean? The victim had no proof. But, that was all over once I was fired. But it is true that the fact that I stole the sacred secrets is kept under wraps. Even so, there is no reason for me to pay up now a whole year later. Hmm, is that really true? What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was still in company data. I wonder if he would have had a problem if it ever became public knowledge. Yes, he would. Miss okay. Mm hmm. Mr. Right? Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Why are you, why are you trying to blow your client? Huh? Men are like colonies of bacteria. The more heat you apply, the faster they grow. Okay. Well, then feel free to keep up the heat. Little lawyer amigo. Yes, now come on. Provide some evidence to back up your assertion. I'll just save now, sure. I feel like this is what we need to present evidence for, so who cares? Okay, suspending game. Continue. From save point. Provide some evidence to back up your assertion. Why would Mr. Light want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? Um, hmm. Treasure exhibit poster. Let's check profiles. And check Kane Bullard. His body is found inside a safe. Okay, that does not do anything for me. Larry Butts isn't going to do anything for me. Claims he is Master Mass. He used to work as a guard for KB Security. His dad is stealing secret from going public. Let's just go to evidence. Hmm. Amy Faye's golden statue? Chichishto. None of this is going to do anything for me. Not yet. Or maybe we've already out used, out used all of its... Uh, whatchamacallit. Maybe we've already outused all of its uh, stuff. I'll, we've out, we've already outused it. Its usefulness. It's lost its usefulness for now. Blunt trauma. About the first highest garden photo is Ron Delight. Touch the check button for details. The gem and the what call it stolen. The precious gem. They said it was a red gem, right? So the ge the jewel of imminent is blue. That red diamond you received the other day instead. Okay, so it's not, so, it has nothing to do with the Jewel of Eminent or anything. I believe that's what it's called, the Jewel of Eminent. The Tear of Eminent. Yeah, that's blue, so, no. Connect to this basement security office, there are no fingerprints. I don't think that's going to do anything for me. Buzzer record, buzzer went off once. From last second heist is still as directed by Blackmail Letters. Okay, none of this wooden box has pink slains on it. I don't know. Like this is legitimately, this is legitimately challenging me. I think broken repair by Adrian Andrews two weeks ago. If we spend like I guess like new policy for the series, if we spend like too long, like maybe like ten minutes on anything, we'll move. We'll, I'll look it up just to just to make sure that we don't have like any more epi twenty minute episodes of me just goofing around doing nothing. <laughs> we don't have that anywhere. They're replacing its box, kept out of sight. Okay. Hmm. Alright, Mr. Light. Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? Connect to the basement security guard office. There are no fingerprints on it. 
That text is too small to read, so it's probably not important. Time of death? Ted wove at 1 a.m. No, I don't know. Found Ron's wallet is on October. Oh, October 12th, the night of the crime at 1 a.m. Hmm. We already presented this, didn't we? Okay. I don't know. Let's try to get a more aerial view of everything. Why did Mr. Light want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? Do we, are, am I on the wrong track here? Like, are we not supposed to present anything for this? Amy... He was stealing us directed by blackmail letters. I don't know. News. Why would Mr. Light want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? His wife? Desiree Delight? Sure. <laughs> Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared. Very scared. Of having a certain person find out your secret. A certain person? Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. What? <laughs> Listen to me, Miss My Desi. She's looks like I looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. <sighs> Godot. Yes, we know it was all your wife's fault. What do you mean, Mister Delight? Stole company data to pay for his wife's spinning habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about! Oh! Hmm... No! Everything is falling neatly into place for him! Don't talk about my Desi like that! OR YOU'LL BE SORRY! There we go. That was way much more effort- I mean, it was such a simple solution, I don't know why it took me so long to figure it out. Well, it seems... that we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes. Was it 20 minutes? It felt shorter than that to me, actually. Clearly there was sufficient motive for murder. Actually, it was a bit longer than that. Clearly there was sufficient motive for murder. He stole data from his wife, and he killed to protect his secret. For his wife. A family man who cared just a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. <sighs> What happened at the crime scene at 1 in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us! We're all ears. Witness testimony at the CEO's office. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Bullet was lying there. Well, Mr. Bullet was lying there, dead. I see. Suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. He said that Mass and Mass struck him on the head, on the head from behind. Of course, since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Ha! Huh. No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I really was attacked! We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Get that, Mr. Trite. Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godot. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. At the CEO's office! <laughs> and as per usual, just before we begin the cross-examination, we shall save! Because we don't want to go through a bunch of baloney again! <laughs> Very good! <laughs> One, two, three... <laughs> Went into the office, There's a, there was a suspicious shadow there. Who was this suspicious shadow? If there were a thousand of me, and if and if even one knew, I'd tell you, trust me. 
His dodging... His dodging all of our questions is not helping us with win this case. Okay, then how was the victim, Mr. Bullard, at that time? What do you mean by how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place. That's a good question. What do you think, Mr. Wright? F forget it. <sighs> Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. Your forehead? Yes, I was hit on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. It was an amazingly fast and powerful attack. Do you remember anything about who hit you? Well, like I said, it was a fast and powerful hit. So I, th I was think I was a little dazed for a while. I don't think Mr. Light even grasped what you were asking. Yeah, I just showed him a fast and powerful attack myself. Maybe that would knock some sense back into him. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. What is that? That? Could you please clarify what you are referring to? Why, my mask to mask costume, of course. Wait just a moment! Mask to mask? Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as mask to mask. And then I descended upon the office at the CEO of of the CEO of KV Security. What? Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait, that's not right. Um, you know, sometimes things just slip out of my mind. Huh. My six cup of coffee is starting up, is staring up at me coldly. At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my master mask costume. We'll save that for last. When I came to, Mr. Bull was lying there, dead. When you came to? Yes, I was passed out in the corner of the room. Do you know when your assailant made their escape? Into where? I'm afraid, I don't really remember. Huh? Once they hit me, I lost all track of what was going on. I think that's when they made their escape. Ha! Huh. That's certainly a convenient story for you, isn't it? It certainly is, isn't it, Mr. Wright? It almost sounds... practiced. I don't know why... I, I don't know why you're telling me. We heard... We heard this from Mr. Light yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in this testimony either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll just have to dry it out of him. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Suddenly I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember it being a bit days. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my master mask costume. All right, let's go ahead and save. Because we got that new information. Appended to the court re not to the court record, but to the testimony. Let's go ahead and continue from save point, please. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my Master Mask costume. Why were you dressed up as Master Mask? Why, because I'm Master Mask, of course. What are you talking about? Master Mask trial is being held next door. Uh, yes, I guess so. Anyway, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the Master Mask issue. So I thought I should go as him, just to be safe. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. That's why it took a long, it took a lot longer than I had expected. Took a lot longer? What is he talking about? All right, press harder. Um, what do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught in the safe door, you see. This is all- this all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. Ooh! What was that?! Back up a second! Yes? You were the one that hid the body in the safe? Um, well, yeah. Inconvi- Inconceivable! Why?! Just- Why?! What reason do you have?! What were you thinking?! Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? 
Uh, what? The answer is simple. When they take them off. As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Light hit the body because he's the murderer? Ha! Huh. So you're not as stupid as you look. His metaphor this time was really obscure. Well, I don't know, I thought it was pretty easy to understand. Mr. Wright, you don't mean... that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? Uh, well... yes. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? Witness! Make sure you add this to the testimony! Yes, sir! Uh-oh, looks like a storm front is moving in over the fair weather judge. Panic in the bottom blah, 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 let's go ahead and save, please. <laughs> this is... Well, actually, it's really not that difficult, but it is... It's one of those cases where it's like... Ugh. You forget one thing, Your Honor! I panic and hit the body in the safe! It took about ten minutes! Why did you hide the body in the safe anyway? Well... Because it wouldn't fit in a drawer! Okay. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. When I saw that corpse, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it! Ha! Huh. I think you had a simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him! That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Hmm, that certainly makes more sense. Mm. Hold on. Ten minutes. What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Hmm. What time was the, what time did the alarm go off? Buzzer record. Went off at 102. Interesting. Alright. I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body? And spend ten whole minutes to do it? Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh! Hey, Nick, if you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show just what those circumstances were? Okay. Why don't we save first before we do something like that? Just in case we end up getting terribly, terribly wrong and end up getting a guilty verdict. As per usual. So far, I believe, fun fact, out of like this game and Justice for All, I believe the first case of this game is the only case that I've done so far where I haven't gotten a guilty verdict in a trial. <laughs> and that was mostly because it was just it just seemed so easy going from the fourth case of the second game to the first case of this game from save point. Why aren't you why don't you present some evidence that would show that what those circumstances were? That's it. I'll take a look at the court record and present some evidence. We heard this from Mr. Light yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in this testimony either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll just the okay. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Suddenly I saw I was in the forehead after that, I remember being a bit dazed. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask to mask costume. When I came to Mr. Bullet was lying there dead. I panicked and hid the body in the safe. It took about ten minutes. Okay. It took ten minutes, you say. Huh. Will we present the buzzer record? Because like because, like, that has a specific timestamp on it, right? So, I think that's what we need to present evidence for. Right? And, or we could present the autopsy. 1 a.m. from blunt trauma to the head. Oh, wait! Why would it take 10 minutes? You know the safe! See off a security card? Like, how do we pres how do we- how do we prove that, though? I guess we'll find that out, find that out in the next episode. Awkward pause, see you guys in the next episode.